It's your brother, Lenry Adenekon, welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of God, all powered by the Pastor Lenry Adenekon Center for Education. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're sharing truth this morning on, is peace with everyone realistic? And that's coming from Hebrews chapter 12, 12 to 15a. A little prayer and then we dive into it together. Our Father God, we bless your name, give you glory and praise. Thank you for a fine night, beautiful morning. Lord, as we go on into this, we receive help from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be utterance, let there be hearing, let there be a performance of that which is heard. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 12. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that that which is lame be not dislocated, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all people, holiness with, uh, without which no one will see the Lord. Looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God. That's just it. Now it starts with a therefore. Now you remember all the things that we had said before. We spoke about the cloud of witnesses. We spoke about um, uh, because of that uh, how we should uh, ensure that we don't have encumbrances and baggages, and we should uh, you know um, you know look out for one another, keep our focus, you know, and you know all those things we said before. He now said, okay, because of all that background, it starts with a therefore. So let us put in some practical things or you know practical steps let's do some practical things to make sure that some of these things that we have suggested and exalted uh could be actually practicalized in the in the midst of the fellowship praise god so he says therefore because of all the things we have said in the past strengthen the hands which hang down now the hands which which hang down uh refer to uh lazy brethren brethren who are not up and doing for the things of the lord brethren who are would like to be bench warmers uh, bre brethren who like to you know draw back or pull back you know when anything comes up you know they don't really really want to um throw themselves into stuff and all that so it's referring to them as uh, hands which hang down you see we should strengthen such hands encourage them embolden them uh let them know that they really can they can some people are so phlegmatic they will just keep avoiding things until you make them do and when they do they now perform very well yeah so encourage such people strengthen such people give them a little push that they require and everything will change for them you know to the praise and glory of god and I spoke about the feeble knees okay the feeble knees are the people who are shaky whose feet are shaky in in god or in the things of the lord uh these people they they seem to be swayed by opinions here or there they seem to be swayed by happenings around here or there their feet are shaky their feet are not really stable um they have a tendency to pull back this not these ones are different from the the lazy ones the lady ones do they are not thinking or running away or not doing they just feel that they can't or they just feel that they don't have the energy they don't have the internal resources to you know make it happen these ones they are shaky um they are not fully in they are not fully out okay they are just there somehow the bible makes us to know that we should actually strengthen them as well and then it says make straight paths for your feet so that that which is lame will not be dislocated but rather be healed what is talking about that you have to picture um um some roads that um in my part of the world we are very familiar with what i'm talking about but some roads that are not very good and those roads need to be graded there's some machine they call the grader you know it will be graded it will be made to be flat all the um portals and and little mounds and things there and there will be leveled the portals will be filled okay okay you know things like that so that it will be a flat uh, flat ground and um, better usable better pliable if you would you know and all that and why is it so that uh, uh, the lame or the should I call it um, not so strong will not be uh, dislocated what he's trying to say is this when people trip that tripping may, may actually cause a dislocation but you see if everything is flattened then there's less likelihood of tripping that's what he's saying there so uh, every make sure that things are good 
um, the road is flat, the road is even, so that people can, you know, move upon them. And those things we do by our prayers, so that people's lives may move on uh, without little trips and, you know, disturbances here and there. Then he goes on to say, pursue peace with everybody, with all people. Okay, now that seems to be the punchline of our little uh, sharing this morning. Pursue peace with all everybody. Uh, in, in that regard, um, we want to remember that something similar to this was we, we, when we were in the book of Romans. We saw something similar to this in um, chapter 12 of it. Am I correct now? Yes. Uh, um, 18. It says, if it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. So this one says, live peaceably with all men. The one we are reading this morning says, pursue peace, you know, with all men. So uh, this one seems to be um, encouraging um, a greater action on your part, a greater um, push from your own end than this other one that just says, live. This one says, pursue. In other words, chase, run after. <laughs> Praise God. But you see, the big question that people often come up with is, is it really possible to live peaceably with everybody? Is it really possible to be happy with everybody? When some people hate you for no good reason. When the people just don't like your face for no good reason. When some people like just, you just um, irritate them, they feel jealous or whatever, for no good reason. Or when some people are just difficult. There are some people, by nature, they are simply difficult people. They don't get along with people very well. And, you know, I've come across uh, people like this and all that. So it says, is it possible? And I want to say that the Bible would never ask us to do something that is not possible. The Bible is asking for it because the Bible is encouraging into it because the Bible knows it's possible. God will never allow us to go through that which is bigger than us. So he knows it's possible. That's why he's saying we should actually go after it. Pursue. That's what he's saying. Go after it. Do your best to be at peace with everybody. How do you how are you at peace with everybody? When you realize that all these people um whether they are people who are difficult human beings whether they're people who are just jealous of you for no good reason some people you know many years ago somebody used to tell me i just have natural hatred for that person there's no such thing it's just satanic <laughs> praise god you know when some people just don't like your style and all that when you remember that these people are people for whom jesus died honestly and that how you have come to where you are today is just purely the grace of god and all those people too whether they are brethren or not all for all of them jesus came and for all these people god loves them and you know when you remember all those things you say to yourself i'm going to have to try my best to be at peace with these people even though he doesn't like me even though she doesn't like me even though she, she thinks i'm the ugliest person she has ever seen and all those things as much as possible i'm going to be at peace with the person great well give a smile um, help where it is possible or where it is necessary okay um, show some kindness show concern where you can and just be at peace oh the person says I don't want to see you get you know just clear off my out my side no problem you don't have to come near somebody says you should not come near the person but you could still be at peace inside you with that person the person who says you shouldn't come near him uh, the other day in the elevator for some reason trips and falls and you quickly would run around to say hey 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 sorry you know why time you do that he too will be provoked you to want to love say oh this person has said i don't want to see look at him trying to look at her you know trying to it is really possible that's where i'm going because when we realize that these people jesus died for them and that is the love of jesus that has brought you to where you are you actually can have a heart just like the kind of heart god has you know uh, towards those people you know hallelujah so let's go on it says then spoke about holiness without which no one will see the lord the Holiness being spoken about here um, is not because of your own efforts, which if you remember where we refer to as dead works earlier on, as we are studying this particular book. So is the holiness imputed? That's what we are saying here, the one that you get on account of the death and rising again of our Lord Jesus Christ. But what he's saying is that it is important for you to exercise faith in it, key into it, believe in it, and live on the basis of the fact that you know that you have that thing in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So when you live like that, you operate in faith like that, knowing that the holiness being counted is not your own holiness, it's the holiness of Jesus that was imputed for you. Yes, you will see God. You will see God, hallelujah. And some people do not understand these things, you know, but I, 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 I appreciate the fact that you don't understand. God will reveal, you know, to you in the name of Jesus Christ that it's not that your effort, that's not what God reckons with, is when you believe upon the one that God has given you, has granted you, it's a grant. 
you know, uh, the one that God has granted you and you count upon it and live accordingly and call boldly before the throne of grace and all that, yes, indeed, you shall see God. Okay, um, I want us to um, uh, just uh, leave it here and then, you know, go on to uh, the other thing, looking, you know, carefully, looking, diligent. okay, let's say a little bit of it, but no, no more time. It says, looking carefully let anyone fall short of the grace of god um some other place case looking diligently that's where he puts it in king james as anybody should fall short of the grace of god somebody should lose out on the grace of god okay that's a big one and i think to make a good uh job of this we should just try and uh, overlap the next time we come around but it says that we should be careful we should be on the lookout so that nobody will fall short of the grace of god or miss out on the, of the grace of god existing always there but however it's possible to miss out on it for one or the other let's leave it here and we'll overlap the next time around and emphasize on it at the grace of god thank you very much for sharing time with us this morning we really appreciate you thank you bye bye